Well, hello everyone. This is Yurkita with Magic Pan Crafts, and we're on to another week of my dice game, three months to the finish line. So, um, if you've been uh, watching previous video and remember that uh, to start this week off, um, got the number three, which is wreath, Christmas wreath, and. Uh, we, uh, I already marked that we're starting with 72.35% done. This way we can we can follow the progress on uh, percentage-wise too. And again, I'll remind you what uh, my choices are for uh, those three months. It's um, two, two ornaments that I wanted to stitch this year. So I have uh, this one left. I have a back side of the bat, uh, Mr. Bear and one bat left, uh, pretty much the right wing left. I think one more time and I'll be done. And this is the Christmas wreath and I'll show you in a second what uh, I need to work on. This is Dimensions Kit, uh, Milady Chateau that I'm over 50% also done in this working part. This is Pana Pillow um, of a Dragon. So everybody likes this one because I think the nice, beautiful, bright colors and 11 count is uh, what they like of it. Plus it's very, very cute. And the Summer Ball by Sandy Little Johns. I thought I would put this one in my rotation be just because uh, it's so big and I want to put some progress. And besides that, I'm also stitching on uh, George, uh, my giant George project. Um, that's pretty much blues and grays uh, color uh, choices for that. And uh, monthly dragon ornaments, which I was actually stitching uh, yesterday and uh, up to now today. And it's already dinner time. Plus, I'm working on my, um, on my threads to put uh, on uh, Annie's keepers. So just now sitting down to stitch and um, let's start uh, quickly on my Christmas wreath. And as you see the picture, and this is what it looks like. So as you can tell, um, pretty, much, pretty much all of that is done. There's like a few stitches in, uh, for back stitching left in here and uh, just trying to fill in these parts and uh, and it's going to be more greenery more spread out greenery just here a couple more berries and a uh, couple more sticks but all of that still with the back stitching still i have um just under 30 percent left so there's quite a bit of uh, left work to do if i wanted a could probably just sit down and finish it uh, before Christmas because I think one percent is just um, almost 200 stitches total but um, I want to do rotation so we'll see what the dice is gonna roll after this but this is my starting point and I need to stitch at least thousand stitches so I'm sure I'm not gonna finish it today and maybe not even tomorrow but we'll see so you'll see in a second what it looks like after uh, some stitches put in and here it is after 1,200 and what, seven stitches. I'm sure you can see some kind of difference in this since um, this part is almost all over. Berries, this one berry is fully done. These are almost done. You can see it sort of like uh, coming up with the leaf shape and a little bit more of a uh, branches filling in kind of slowly slowly filling in and I haven't done um, again any back stitching because I wanted to just fill in all the parts uh, with one stitch full thread or half uh, stitch it just kept going kept going in so I've done with this and I could have done it much faster but um, I had uh, as you've seen some work to do with my threads so let me move this out of the way and as you can see i have marked already on um, on my christmas wreath 1207 and um, just to like a side note i've been working on my annie skips putting in but can you tell any difference between like these two threads 
or for example these two can you tell that for example this one is brighter than this or this one has more mauve color than that but what's surprising that it's there are both have the same numbers it's just a different shading maybe slightly different age i understand this was older than than uh, this version right because with the dot is a new version but here it's sort of like a should be the same uh versions but it's not and i'm finding it more and more uh once i look through my threads and especially when i got um you see all of my threads like playing all around me um, that I got uh, from uh, like a charity shop. Um, all the older ones and they're way, totally way different. So I think I'm going to keep like I'm, I was writing uh, some old color and I think I'm going to keep in my uh, box here uh, where uh, I have uh, some of my other leftover threads that doesn't fit in my Annie Skeeps. And for smaller projects, I think I'm going to just uh, use uh, these older threads that um, I know it's not going to have the same color because I don't want to by accident pull out of the anti skips uh, and stitch and then pull out another thread. It's going to be different shading and I did not notice afterwards. So I compared that to my um, book that I have. Um, DMC so if I'm not sure which color is uh, better which is not uh, I put against this book with the sample colors which is better than um, those picture cards and uh, that's why I also figured out if I'm not sure for example between those two which one would be the better color uh, truer color so that's kind of a little bit annoying but um, I'm gonna use it up anyway uh, for that kind of thing so Coming back to my uh, dice game, let's see what uh, next project is going to be out of the sixes. Hmm, I don't know which one I would like to have. I haven't touched the dragon. Maybe dragon would be nice to touch or maybe even finish my baron. Um, don't know if I wanted this right now, but we'll see. So... Let's see what is going to fall. Number three. <laughs> Back to Christmas wreath. I guess somebody really wants me to finish this uh, soon before Christmas. Right now I'm over 78% uh, with this work done. And I'm sure a lot of it is going to be with the back stitching because it's going to be a lot. So you just saw my uh, project a few seconds ago. So you see that I still have this is like a that uh, skeleton one of the leaves uh, you, you've seen there's still those twigs happening in here and in here so there's some work to happen um, more on this more scattered uh, not as uh, full but um, I'm gonna tune in back with uh, another thousand or so stitches and it's Thursday the what 15th and actually I finished um, yesterday late uh, added 1008 stitches in the wreath and uh, then i was very eager to get to george which i worked uh, through yesterday and today so i'm ready to roll again my uh, dice but again let's see which ones we might roll out so this is what uh, 1,008 stitches uh, given me. So as you can see, it's starting to fill out very nicely, but quite a bit still left uh, when you pull out and you can compare. So this is a brownish kind of branches or more skin tones and the big branch uh, still left below. So there's still quite a bit on the, to go on the bottom but the rest of it filling out and then I can do more back stitching so that's that and I've been I've been working again a little bit stitching a little bit reorganizing all my threads and any skippers so that's taking up quite a bit of time because I have uh, I can hang up to four uh, full skeins on, uh, on those uh, thread keepers and uh, still 
not have them bunched up. So let's see what uh, today will bring. I have uh, my Girl Scout meeting and dinner, so not a lot of stitching. And number one, number one, wow, something that I need to finish this year and it's going to be this ornament. So I'll pull it out and show you where it's going to be my starting point. And here we have it again, uh, the picture. This is the one I'm working on right now. What uh, you see in front of you is my first one, which I've done it was uh, this one. And that's how much I'm going to have to do. You see all the ribbons and beads and back stitching, uh, the cordings, all kinds of stuff is going to be happening. And this is my current project. So still fill in some spots in here, in here and in the middle. So I'll be doing all the main stitching first and then it will be a time for all that back stitching and the, and the cording for, for this one. So uh, I need to do 500 stitches minimum and probably I'll see you sometime tomorrow evening. And here it is, and it's about 501 stitches done. And as you can see, I finished all of the main stitching that needed to be, and I've done all the, I think, all of the back stitching in the middle. And the thread uh, that I just started putting a uh, first stitch for a couching, it's going to be like a zigzag and all other stuff. So, uh... I did my amount. It went fairly easy for the stitching. Back stitching, I had to pay attention because I wanted to have like a straight line so it would not be broken down. Or you can see like uh, sometimes you see the the lines like going bump, bump, bump. So I tried to avoid that, and I've did my amount. So I've marked my 501 and a timeless ornament so what do you think is gonna happen next so we had uh, so far just the christmas wreath and the timeless ornament and i was stitching also george and i kind of want to continue stitching on the george because i started to see more of uh end of the seventh row and uh, that kind of is trying to spur me to do more and more of that but uh, that's not included in my six numbers. So let's set this aside and let's bring out our list. And what do you think is going to be? What should we do next? The, I think, hmm, I think the Mr. Bear Moon bath would be good. Maybe I could even finish it. Or Dragon. I think Dragon was not... Uh, well stitched and loved for these stitches ha ah, six summer ball somebody um, in the comments wrote that they'd love to see dragon summer ball and mr. Baron one bat finished so the summer ball I'm gonna pull out and show you uh, where I'm gonna be starting and this is my starting point gonna be so as you can see I've done pretty much most of the faces for these ladies so this lady doesn't have like a chest area or arm with the skin and none of the back stitching are finished in here so I might put some of that in there to kind of close off the area and be done and by the picture so that's that lady in purple so this whole group is still going to be on and we have uh, like a window uh, sort of like framing starting to sh be shown from this area and all the way to the floor. So this is where I'm going to be starting. And for this, I need to put in 1000 stitches. So I guess I'll see you in probably a couple of days because tonight is getting kind of low and um, don't know how much I'll able to do tonight I might work a little bit more on George uh, I don't know we'll see so anyway this is what it starts and um, in a second you'll see uh, after 1000 stitches 
and now it's a Sunday uh, after noon um, the 18th and I actually finished uh, my required stitches last night but I've been working on sorting my threads which is still not done I'm doing it very slowly and there's a lot of them some of the colors I had like five six so um and I'm also comparing some older older brand uh, of DMC to newer and then I pull out my color card to make sure which one of these colors are actually the should be good one so I can hang up to four skeins on uh, my sorters so it's slow process but it's fun so I kind of relax with that so what you can see I added a total about 1270 stitches and I'm uh, happy to say that I've um, did all the back stitching and uh, also finished off the threads that were hanging on this lady for the skin and I took it off my Q-snap because I think I can move it up for the last time so on my chart I already marked summer bowl and I don't think I can make anything uh, fit in today. I noticed that it's 18th and I still have uh, a quarter of um, my monthly ornament to do. Plus after that back stitching, which is either one full day or maybe a couple uh, partial days uh, to do. So I need to get cracking on that. So I might spend uh, today afternoon evening doing that finishing and maybe if I have a little time I'll add more George so what you see is pretty much we, I worked on uh, three different projects from my sixth uh, ones so wreath uh, timeless ornament and uh, summer bowl so timeless ornament might uh, be finished again in another time um, and I'm progressing well enough I think in these of course the back stitching takes a lot of time in my summer bowl so I since I took it off my Q-snap I thought I could show you the, the whole scene that starts from here so it's everything is finished there's also um, have like a French knots I think it's only on this lady that around this dress and the bottom I'll show you up close uh, later on more up close and it's what up to maybe here um, the last scene left so like to compare to the original picture she's here so I already started the guy in black and again in black I'm stitching with three threads because it DMC 310 is much thinner and again on, an, on another color already set aside because I finished it so it's exciting slowly seeing colors disappearing and uh, it's going to be left these uh, five people and uh, I'm sure the wall is going to be much much faster to stitch and some of the dresses too it's just the head and the skin and the back stitching that takes the most time so compare like to my hand this is what it looks like right now so it's going to be very, very exciting. I'm not going to finish it this year, of course. Uh, it's uh, it's only 76% showing done. So, but next year should be the end of it. Um, it's one of the, my oldest whips. I started in 2017. Um, what I wrote that, uh, Stitch Mania, May 19th. So uh, I'll be working again on this Stitch Mania and might be the last Stitch Mania for this piece. So that's what it is. Um, I might show you then what my ornament looks like right now. So this is what it looks like right now. You can kind of tell that um, there is a hat and the shape of a dragon still left. So majority of my work is going to be filling in this part because except like a couple those empty spots, everything else is filled in. But still it's it's quarter um, of all the stitches still need to be done and interestingly this uh, ornament practically don't have anything in uh, half stitches like most of the others uh, background was in a uh, half stitches so it was going fairly fast but this one practically everything is a full stitches just a few places with, that it was with one thread 
I can't remember what it looks like inside, but I'm sure it's going to be full stitches too. So it's uh, slowing down a bit my work, but I'm going to try to get it all that finished and you might see it still in this video. So stay tuned and I'll come back in a second for you. And the second lasted until early Monday morning. So I finished late last night the main stitching of it. So all the crosses are fully done. So um, now I'm going to be waiting for back stitching the pattern to come in. And then um, we'll see how it looks. I'm sure it's going to look even much better. So you can kind of tell that the dragon is riding a broom. So that's the back of it. And um, there is a moon behind with some clouds. So that's going to be it. Um, and uh, now we're going to roll the uh, dice. And for the dice, there it is. Whee! What number is it? It's number three, and number three is <laughs> Christmas wreath. Funny. So that's what we're going to start this week with, and um, uh, I guess I'll just uh, show you the starting point in the new video. So for this week, starting point number three, uh, if you're playing this dice game with me, and I hope you enjoyed this week's um, um, playing game. So all I've had this week is a wreath, wreath, <laughs> uh, one time timeless ornament, one time summer ball. I did a little bit of a George and I finished my ornament. So at least one finish uh, uh, in the stitching was done. And we're going to start again with the wreath. I hope it doesn't uh, continue the same way all the time. For, about forgetting, you know, different um, different projects. So um, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and uh, again, thank you for staying with me, uh, visiting me, and uh, until the next uh, time, which is going to be in a week. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.